the this is the area where she did it. But we have other collectors here as well. Back in 1987, I actually broke my back in this watershed uh, putting in soil pits. I fell off of a uh, portable backhoe, and uh, any and it wasn't this site. It was actually on my way to another site where it happened. It was raining today. There's a well up above here, and there's a soil pit there. And what we did was we took one of those pans and jacked it into the surface. 50 centimeters down, and that's what you saw the data from. And the way that we collected that data is basically we ran a PVC pipe out to the surface down here, and if you, if you see this little, it looks like it's been more or less destroyed. Um, anything living in here? Nope. There's a tippy bucket. And these were all fabricated, so we could actually measure the the time that water moved through that pan. It was a pretty good gradient, so it wasn't going to be held up. And then it went from here into a series of collection bottles, and so we could actually look at the chemistry. Now we're still doing it, but we're collecting bulk. So after storm events, or once a week, we come out, and if there's water in that, we measure how much is in there and actually send the sample off to the lab to have it analyzed. So we've continued that kind of uh, research. We also have one at 15 centimeters, and I think that's it, uh, the trench we were collecting for a time. So, well, yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah. But, you know... Place to put yeah, I, I'm not going to fight that yeah, one. I mean, yeah. I wish I had somebody as anal retentive on, my, uh, on the project. Um, this is one of those uh, measuring devices for the wells. And basically, what it is is a potentiometer, for those of you that are, uh, know something about electronics. It's got a, a series of, uh, uh, like a cable that's wound around it 10 times. And then there's this little pointer that goes around and touches the cable. Well, the cable has a, different, a set resistance per unit length. And so it can tell where it is because it measures just the resistance. From one end to the other is a certain total amount of resistance. If it's halfway, then you get a different resistance. Actually, it measures voltage. But so, and this is the, the float and counterweight. There's a float down here that's about yay long, about this big around, and on this side is counterweight. And so when water levels come up, it spins and we record continuously. There are wires here, which is a nice thing. This is the best watershed I've ever had to work in. Uh, the critters don't seem to like our wires, which is great. <laughs> uh, when I was in the Adirondacks, I remember one night we, we laid out some cables for, uh, we were recording temperature and conductance 